For much of this century, the British have tried to use the law to impose equality with very indifferent results. The failure of the drive for equality is not because the wrong measures were adopted, not because they were badly administered, not because the wrong people administered it. The failure is much more fundamental. It is because that drive goes against the most basic instinct of all human beings. In the words of Adam Smith, the uniform, constant, and uninterrupted effort of every man to better his condition, to improve his own lot, and to make a better world for his children and his children's children. When the law interferes with that pursuit, everyone will try to find a way around. He will try to evade the law, he will break the law, or he will emigrate from the country. All of those things have happened in Great Britain. There is no moral code that justifies laws fixing prices or fixing wages or preventing a man from earning a living unless he joins a union and submits himself to the discipline of the union or forcing you to buy more expensive goods at home when cheaper goods are available from abroad. When the law prohibits things that most people regard as moral and proper, they are going to break the law. Only fear of punishment, not a sense of justice, will cause them to obey the law. And when people start breaking one set of laws, there's a strong tendency for the lack of respect for the law to extend to all, even to those which everyone regards as moral and proper, laws against violence, theft, vandalism. Hard as it may be to believe, the growth of crude criminality in Britain owes much to the drive for equality.